everybody. Elisa here again with another Vera Bradley bag of the day. Uh, this is sort of the continuation of the previous video where I, I did talk a little bit about a mini haul with some butterfly buy stuff and some rainforest canopy. Um, sorry for the dog chewing noises. <laughs> um, and so this, this sort of part two-ish video um, is to talk about the uh, commuter tote uh, as it compares to the Vera tote because someone had asked me um, when they saw that I had gotten the commuter tote in the recycle fabric if I could compare the two. Um, and so I wanted to do that. And the, <clears throat> excuse me. This is this is a this is it. This is a commuter tote. Uh, it's not the first uh, pattern to be released in this style. I mean, I know, I'm not sure all the patterns, but I know it came out in French Paisley because I was considering getting it in French Paisley. And the reason that I didn't was because that Vera Tote had the trim and I really wanted the trim. Um, which I think would be an easy addition here. I mean, they, all they would have to do is like put a strip of trim right there or something. It might be a nice addition. But anyway, who knows what they're going to do. We'll see if they do any coordinating trim with this recycled uh, fabric. Uh, that'll be interesting to see. But the reason that I uh, decided to finally try the commuter tote was because, and I'll put a link to the other video where I talk about more about this and the fabric, um, but when they started doing, you know, when they brought out these recycled Vera totes, well recycled fabric, the Vera tote and the recycled fabric, um, I know, you know, everybody noticed some of the finishing details have changed. That's what I talk about in the other video. Um, uh, I'm sure it's a, a cost thing. It probably costs more right now to create this fabric. Uh, and, uh, you know, I won't, go, I won't go into too much depth here again about, you know, my feelings about this change. But I did know, you know, I, I do think it's a problem that these finishing details have changed on the Vera tote. Uh, because this fabric is softer, um, I think, softer not in a good way. When I say softer, I don't mean like hand feel or something. I mean softer like the fibers are more highly processed to create this. Peaches! I mean, you know, I'm making a video here. <laughs> what a racket! Um, someone may have to have their toy taken away. <laughs> um... So I think that the fibers are don't have the same uh, stiffness and structure, and so I think that that's a problem. It's it's creating an overall lack of structure in this bag, and so without that piping on the top edge, you really see like how wonky that top edge can be. It gets kind of dented and puckered. Uh, it, you know, it just dents. It doesn't lie nice. Uh, all the way around. It's harder to see here, um, but I was really noticing it the other day when I had this packed up, and I knew that was going to happen. Um, like, for example, this is my bag today. This is a sure thing, uh, Vera Tote, and you can see the piping, just so people, for if people aren't familiar and they don't know what I'm talking about. The, 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 the Vera Tote had this piping on the top edge and also on the straps, the edges of the straps, and you can see how nicely the, um, this top lip, this edge, just stays nice and smooth. It doesn't dent, it doesn't crease, it doesn't fold in on itself or buckle in any way. There's something about the combination of this newer fabric with the piping that gives it a structure that it needs. So um, I, I was just kind of bummed you know, about that change and there were other changes, but anyway. So, I decided to try the commuter tote after my experience with this. Even though I do, you know, I love the Vera tote, um, I, I don't know how many more of these I would get. I certainly wouldn't get any full price. Uh, it would have to be on sale, and I would have to have a coupon on top of that that I could stack. And, you know, it would have to be a pattern I was really desperate for. Um, but I decided to try the commuter tote because I remembered that it doesn't have, it didn't have a lot of those finishing details, so it didn't lose anything in the translation to this new fabric. Because the top edge never had piping. The top edge is sort of folded, just the fabric folded in over itself. So you can see that there's a seam yeah, here. 
and this is just the fabric folded over. And so this edge was always kind of nice and sturdy. You know, that makes this edge sturdy. Uh, and so th there was never piping up there, and there was never piping. I, I'm pretty sure there was not piping on the edge of the straps either. Um, and so I, that's why I decided to give this this a, a chance, uh, you know, a, a try. I also was interested in a laptop sleeve. Oh, I thought she's being so noisy. Okay. <laughs> um, I, now I did the work tote, which I do have here on the floor. Uh, oh, the horror! It's on the floor. <laughs> it's my floor. Um, this has a laptop sleeve too, which I like, but it's di placed differently. Here it's in the center, um, whereas, and so there's two compartments in there, and I have videos on the work tote. Whereas here, it's on one wall of the bag. Uh, and then there's one large compartment. I do find, even though, let's see if I can hold these both up in the shot. They seem to be comparable in size. They are slightly different, but I mean, they're both, you know, big bags. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Surrounded by big bags. Uh, this is a little bit big, looks a little bit bigger, but I do feel like I have trouble getting everything in this that I get in this. This is a great bag. People probably know it's just a big one big inside space with six slip pockets three on each side and it's got that hidden slip pocket here and the slip and the zipper pocket up front uh, 12 inch strap so, even, so there's something about that big open space it's just easier for me to pack up especially when I have a laptop in here which I can't I'm filming with my laptop so I can't put it in here but um, I guess I could get my for one of these videos, I should get my um, old MacBook Pro out because I think it would fit in here, even though it's much bigger. But um, you know, so when I, I do put other things in here when I'm not using a laptop, like I'll slip other things in there so that I'm not wasting that space. But especially when I have the laptop in there, it creates a stiffness on one side of the bag, which may be contributing to you know the bag not really being able to accommodate so many of the things that I just sort of stuff, I'm used to stuffing in the Vera tote, so um, it's a challenge, but I do like this bag. I like it sort of has a more east-west feel, even though, like, it was, you know, they seem very similar. I don't know what it is, maybe it's the side pockets or something that make it seem more east-west. I'm not sure what it is. Um, but it's got three slip pockets, big ones, good size, on that one wall of the bag, and then the it's got two sort of elasticized mesh slip pockets on the outside of the um, lap, padded laptop sleeve wall. And this thing is just a piece of, like a, a strap with Velcro. Uh, the outside has, this is also similar to the work tote, uh, a trolley sleeve. Sleeves. It's interesting to see the size. I think the work the work tote's a bit uh, smaller. Yeah, work tote's smaller. But what I do like about the work tote, and I love this bag. I was so bummed it doesn't seem to be out in rainforest canopy toile. Um, I was hoping it would be. But what I like about this is that the trolley sleeve has a zipper on the bottom here. Here's the hole. And so this can double as a slip pocket, which is really great because, um, you know, you're not always carrying something with rolling luggage, uh, especially this, this. I think people are going to use this and the work tote more as a work bag, and not everyone is commuting um, with rolling luggage. <laughs> and so this, there is no zipper here. This is just wasted most of the time. Uh, I think this should, that should be a default feature when you have a trolley sleeve. There should be that zipper there. Just plonk the zipper on it. Um, so that, that's disappointing about this bag. Um, but uh, I do like it. Even though, like I said, I have trouble with the packing up of it. I, and I do have to sort of pare down a little bit. still do like it. Um, I like these great big slip pockets on the, both sides. They wrap all the way around. They're generous and they go down to bottom. So that feels very secure if you drop something in there that it's not going to be easy for someone to 
lift. You know, it's not going to be easy for someone to stick their hand all the way down the bottom and get something out without you knowing. And the slip pocket, same thing with this slip pocket here, all the way down to the bottom of the bag, and then the zipper pocket on top, all the way down, the, this almost all the way down. I mean, very generous sized pocket, so very nice. Uh, the other minor difference I noticed is in the strap. You see here, the strap doesn't isn't sewn all the way up to the top of the bag, but here it is. You know, it's sewn all the way up to the top of the bag. I don't, I mean, I don't, I don't think that would create any difference in wear. The, um, the work tote has this, has hardware for these straps, which is nice. So that when, this, when you take a strap down, it lies nice and flat against the body of the bag. So that's nice. So I could just try to um, throw a little bit of stuff in both of these bags and, and put them on. I, I, maybe I'll be able to stand back a little bit. I'm sitting in a different spot today just because I don't have, I mean, the light here is sort of fading too, but um, I'm just going to put a bunch of my little pouches in one slip pocket. Uh, that's my a Xerox of my COVID card on my wipes and band-aids um so I'm i am losing the light but uh also i i injured myself um the other day i fell down the stairs in my house and i injured my tailbone <laughs> and so i'm you know it's kind of there's a lot, a lot of pain and depending on how i'm sitting and so it was more comfortable to sit like i'm sitting here <laughs> so i came downstairs um a charger cord pouch i'll throw that in there uh, GPS is in, this is a mini cosmetic, throw that in there, a turn lock wallet, i put that in one of the, uh, slip po uh, mesh slip pockets, let's see, and uh, i put my, um, hand sanitizer in the, slip pocket there. So oh, that sort of gives that some body. I mean, I, I could put a lot more in there, but let me just put some stuff in here and the Vera tote just also to give it some shape. Uh, Carson cell phone crossbody. My very various pic pictures in zip IDs. <laughs> uh, just tissues and this is a mini dome. Love the mini dome. I wish they would make this more. Uh, this had a very short run, and this is very handy. I know a lot of people love this item. I don't know why. I, I don't understand why. I mean, I assume it's all sales, but so many people in the viewer groups that I'm in really like that item. It's surprising to me that they feel like maybe it doesn't sell well. But I decided to try something new for my pens. In previous videos, I've been showing the keeping my pens in an on a, on a, on a roll case. Um, but it, you know, it was, like I was saying, it's harder for the work with the commuter tote to pack it up. And so um, I wanted something a little flatter. I thought that would help. And this seems to help. Does Ellie go round? I've shown this before. Um, so I have my pens in here. And an eyeglass case. I feel like I could use some more stuff in here. I could put my masks and... Uh, this is what I showed in the other, the previous video, Butterfly by Wristlet. Um, and another cell phone crossbody just to give it some shape. Okay, so let's see if I, if I can stand up and still be in the shot. Let's see, let's see how this works because I don't know how to do film editing. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh, Peaches, I'm going to have to step step over you. Do you even care? You're not very concerned, are you? Okay. <laughs> okay, so, whoop. Uh, oh, that didn't feel good on my tailbone. <laughs> um, so you can see they're both big bags. This is the Vera. Yeah, this is the Vera. And this is the commuter. Similar strap drop, uh, it's just about 12, 13 inches. 
This one hangs a little bit higher, which this is the commuter. So it's a little bit, looks a little bit shorter. Which is funny because when you hold them up together, it doesn't look that way. <coughs> For some reason, it just looks a little bit more east-west, right? So just when you want something, maybe it doesn't look quite as gigantic, but it's still a good size bag. That's comfortable. I find that the, um, oh, I'm sorry, peaches. Oh, um, <laughs> I find that the straps are the same on, on both bags, comparable. I mean, um, as far as how they stay on my shoulder. What I do, uh, and I do notice, I mentioned this in the previous video, but I don't think it's a change here with this bag. It was a change of the Vera. But this is sort of constructed where it's almost like it's folded over. It's a piece of fabric folded over, so one side is the fold edge and one side is the seam edge. And there's some padding in there. It is soft. It's comfortable. And I feel like they stay on my shoulder about the same. So sometimes, you know, the exterior strap will slip and I sort of, you know, sort of overlap them to keep them in place and that works for me so um, I definitely would con con you know continue to get this over the Vera tote if I really wanted a pattern maybe I would consider this sooner than the Vera tote now because I think it it looks better um, in use because of how the edge maintains its structure so um, but it, it would be hard if they started to introduce the um, you know, a recycled pattern with that strip of trim on the sides, you know, that would, you would want that, you know, you wouldn't get that here. So you would, might want to, <laughs> when I say you, I mean me, <laughs> I might want to, you know, consider getting it, even though, you know, there are a lot of things about this. I think they, they could improve. Um, Maybe they will over time as, as it evolves, you know, as this move to go to all recyclable stuff, um, you know, evolves for them. Anyway, so that was it. The uh, commuter tote, I always want to call it the work tote. The commuter tote in Rainforest Canopy, canopy very pleased with it as a, uh, an alternative uh, to the Vera tote. Um, I, I definitely would get another one. I'm pleased with it. It's comfortable and it's super pretty. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and hopefully see you next time on Vera Bradley Bag of the Day.